too. All can be done if the God touch is there. A thought was sown in the unsounded void. A sense was born within the darkness depths. A memory quivered in the heart of time as if a soul long dead were moved to live. But the oblivion that succeeds the fall had blotted the crowded tablets of the past and all that was destroyed must be rebuilt and old experience labored out once more. All can be done if the God touch is there. A hope stole in that hardly dared to be amid the night's forlorn indifference. As if solicited in an alien world, with timid and hazardous instinctive grace, orphaned and driven out to seek a home, an errant marvel with no place to live, into a far-off nook of heaven there came a slow, miraculous gesture's dim appeal. The persistent thrill of a transfiguring touch persuaded the inert black quietude and beauty and wonder disturbed the fields of God. A wandering hand of pale enchanted light that glowed along a fading moment's brink, fixed with gold panel and opalescent hinge, a gate of dreams ajar on mystery's verge. One lucent corner windowing hidden things forced the world's blind immensity to sight. The darkness failed and slipped like a falling cloak from the reclining body of a god. Then through the pallid rift that seemed at first hardly enough for a trickle from the suns out poured the revelation and the flame. The brief perpetual sign recurred above. A glamour from the unreached transcendences, iridescent with the glory of the unseen, a message from the unknown, immortal light, ablaze upon creation's quivering edge, dawn built her aura of magnificent hues and buried its seed of grandeur in the hours. An instant's visitor, the Godhead shone. On life's thin border a while, the vision stood and bent over Earth's pondering forehead curve, interpreting a recondite beauty and bliss in color's hieroglyphs of mystic sense. It wrote the lines of a significant myth, telling of a greatness of spiritual dawns, a brilliant code penned with the sky for page. Almost that day, the epiphany was disclosed, of which our thoughts and hopes are signal flares. A lonely splendor from the invisible goal almost was flung on the opaque inane. Once more, a tread perturbed the vacant vasts. Infinity center, a face of rapturous calm, parted the eternal lids that open heaven. A form 
from far beatitudes seemed to near. Ambassadress twixt eternity and change, the omniscient goddess leaned across the breadths that wrapped the fated journeyings of the stars and saw the spaces ready for her feet.